Listen, I'm going to make a rant on this because I know you guys are so ticked off about Modern Combat 5. But I just want to tell you something. You guys need to bear with me on this because I'm not defending this, but I do have a few things to say in the game loft. Um, so first, we have to remember Modern Combat 4 came out with 5 maps on its release date in the later updates, including the Meltdown update that gave us 2 guns. They even gave us 2 game modes and we got new maps. In the updates. I mean, you, you guys have to bear with me. They can talk a lot about updates. But Game Loft. Updates aren't the only thing. It's about first impressions. This game doesn't look the best. But I'm just going to say that it's alright. Because you had a bad ping. And it was a YouTube video. So you know how YouTube compresses stuff and all. Even though it was in HD. YouTube compresses and all. And I bet it looks way better in person. But you guys need to stop hating because Gameloft UK, the studio that made this game instead of Gameloft Montreal, I wish Montreal would have made it because they came out with MC3. But here's the thing, Gameloft community, community, this is the first time they're going to respond to the community. Like, they want everything that you guys want. Like, if you want a zombies mode, put in a zombies mode. They said, the, said, the, said themselves, zombies mode might, might be in a different update. I mean, come on. But game off. First impressions matter. You can't just put a game out saying, oh, we're going to make it better. It's like saying, it's like you're on a football team, but you're as fat as the biggest sumo wrestler in Japan. And you're saying that, well, no, I'm going to be the best running back. They don't believe it because they don't see anything. They don't, they don't see the ripped um, sumo wrestler just running. But what I'm trying to say is that you need to make this game a little better. I mean, you guys have a whole week. July 24th. You have a whole week before MC5 comes out. And you need to take, you need to take this time. Because um, a lot of, I'm going to tell you right now, if you're not going to respond to the community, why would you kill a community that you have created for so long since 2009 you guys have about three million members if you're not going to respond to the community and we've been delayed for this game for about one year so why are you going to just do that now i have a few things to say to you guys um the graphics please don't talk trash about the graphics because they look awesome they look way better than any of the modern combats combined and we also got to talk about, I mean, those crosshairs don't look good, but come on, graphics don't look good. That's an obvious thing that you're just stupid or a troll to say that the graphics suck. But the maps, the maps are too big. I know you guys are trying to make this look like Call of Duty or Battlefield. If you're trying to make it look like Battlefield, please don't do a 6v6 because you have six for six people and it's not even... Um, fast-paced gameplay like you were running you were running with a compact and you don't even run that fast you run with m4a1 and modern and call of duty you run really fast so you guys need to make more fast-paced gameplay because a lot of people that's what they wanted it mc4 didn't have that fast-paced gameplay unless you put on athleticism and you were just knifing people and about the knifing you don't want to make the knifing a three four second animation because we actually want to knife people I actually want to do bang shots. Oh, wait, you don't have throwing knives. Please put throwing knives in. I beg of you, Game Loft. And I also just want to say that I want you, I want the devs to make, um, yeah, more fast-paced gameplay, smaller maps. And I also want them to um, just, I mean, they've already enhanced it to their full potential. But you guys have to bear with me on this. The multiplayer, honestly, I'm just, um, if the multiplayer is not going to be good, I'm looking forward to the campaign because um, I'm I like look forward to playing that when I'm offline. Oh wait, you have to have an internet connection to play campaign and multiplayer. You guys need to fix that now. You guys have game left. You have to accept this fact. There are going to be hackers. Do you know how many hackers are in Call of Duty? And it doesn't really bother a bunch of people unless you're like a nine-year-old kid that just likes to rant. But um, there's going to be hackers. You have to accept it. You just have to have a good anti-cheat system. And you'll be you'll be spot free. I mean, um, I really what if you're on a road trip? Think of think of the player. If you are on a if you are on a road trip or you are on the street, if you were in your school, if you are in any place that didn't have Wi-Fi, 
you can't just think that a bunch of people have phones with data on it that are going to play this game. You just have to make the campaign offline and then make the multiplayer Wi-Fi. So that's my opinion on that, but that's all that's all I have to say about this. By um besides all that multiplayer was good, but you guys need to stop hating. If you don't like something or if you want something more in modern combat, go to Gameloft UK's Twitter. Ryan said himself that it he doesn't care about hate, because in the end, they're all just opinions and opinions to make the game better. They actually want your opinions, but you don't you need to keep the profanity to a minimum. You can't sound ignorant, and if you sound ignorant, they're not going to do it. Just sound professional and ask for the community, and I swear they will respond to you in a nice way, and they will make that thing come to pass. And the game's going to be released. I'm going to be doing stuff on that, but this was just a review, first impression, slash rant on Modern Combat 5. So if you're looking for Modern Combat 5 gameplay and you don't want to watch BNA, I mean, you know you want to watch BNA, but if you want to watch somebody else, just subscribe to me because I'll be doing that first thing, the, first, the second it comes out. So I hope you guys like this video. If it helped you at all, clearing your mind, making you think more clearly about MC5, be sure to comment, be sure to hit that like button like it stole something. And the most important thing, do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more for anime reviews and also uh, mobile gaming. And do not forget to follow me on Twitter. I did it this time. Do not forget to follow me on Twitter. That will be in the description. And until we meet again, see ya.